let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. Amen. Glorify the Most High. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him that God may be all in all. Second lesson, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Golden text. Philippians chapter 2 verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Quote. Brethren, the world err for not giving the credit of accomplishments of things in the world to God. People attribute all the world's occurrences to men, to Juju and Mermaid, among other things. From the creation of the world, people of old had been attributing the work of God to Melchizedek, Moses, Enoch, Noah, Jeremiah, and Jesus, as the case may be, none is ascribed to God. The question is, with this practice, how will man recognize, honor, and glorify God? If someone dies, it is believed that witchcraft is the cause of the death. If a child is born, it is attributed to mermaid. If someone is rich, the world will attribute it to the power of Juju. If someone is poor, his fate will be attributed to witchcraft. And if someone is good looking, it will be ascribed to mermaid. It is common to hear people say that the government has done this, the church has done that, and a man is responsible for this or that, and no mention is made about God. From no one be informed that God is the doer of everything on earth. As such, give the credit of everything to God. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, since we believe that the Father is responsible for everything, we members always give thanks to the Father for every occurrence, no matter how odd it may be. It is wrong to say that a particular Bethel is very good because of the person in charge. The recent state of lo the recent state and local government creation in Nigeria should be seen as the handwork of God and not that of the government. All the glories and honors should be ascribed to the Father for his good works on earth. In the era of Christ, the Israelites claimed that Moses was the one that gave them the manna which they ate, but Christ refuted that. It was not Moses that gave them manna, but the Heavenly Father. Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread 
from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. That was in John chapter 6, verses 31 to 32. Brethren, was it not a pathetic situation for the people of the world to give glory to Christ for raising Lazarus from the dead and for performing other miracles? What part did God play? Christ admitted that the Father sent him and that all he did were effected by him. But all of us erroneously believe that Christ was the doer of all things on earth. We become respecter of man and give glory to man rather than God. Any person who speaks about himself seeks his own glory. And anybody who does the work of the one who sent him is the truthful servant. From the time of Christ, he acknowledged that every, everything to God. He was the only person who recognized God. Your presence here is caused by the Father and not by any other person. As such, you should always give thanks to the Father for everything. You should know that heaven and earth belong to the Father. He is the head of everything and He does not have any deputy. I reiterate that you do not know what brotherhood is. That is why I continue to teach you bit by bit so that you may really understand it. Thus, I do with patience and endurance. God created man. He created trees, fishes, animals. But man does not acknowledge him as, his, as the creator. He lives before creation and no man recognized God as the doer of all things. They rather recognized those whom God passed through to do the work. It was Christ who raised it was Christ. If it was Christ who raised Lazarus from the dead, who raised Christ then from the dead? It is surprising to note at every time that man does not know that God is the cause and effect of all things. This explains why Christ said that man should not be troubled in heart. Rather, he should believe in God and also in Him. On this note, therefore, do not rest your hope or trust and faith in man but in God. Not all the Israelites knew Moses. That was why when a fight ensued between two Israelites, Moses intervened. They asked him to leave them alone and that nobody appointed him a judge over them. But at the appointed time, God used Moses to free the Israelites from the bondage in Egypt. The Israelites only recognized Moses for his leadership role and did not know that it was the handwork of God. This was why the people of Israel felt stranded when Moses died. They felt that their God was no more. In, in his merciful way, God up anointed Joshua to continue with the leadership role. To show that God is the doer of everything, Joshua even performed more than Moses. So there is no point to lament if a particular person is not there to carry out a certain assignment. Why did the Jews kill our Lord Jesus Christ? They thought that Christ was the doer of those spiritual seats and so if they kill him that would mark the end of Christ's work on earth. In spite of man's inadequacies, God does not fail to demonstrate his omnipotence, omnipresence and omniscience nature 
but man does not seem to appreciate it because of the darkness which covers him. When our Lord Jesus Christ was on earth, his teaching did not go beyond his disciples. Immediately after his death, his teaching spread to every part of the world. When Christ was no more physically present, he gave the mantle of leadership to Peter so that the work of God may be continued. The apostles, however, were killed. But today, the number of people who have embraced Christianity is uncountable. There was a time when people speculated that the Holy Spirit was no more and that his power had vanished. This intoned their philosophy of God help those who help themselves and this enhanced the worship of mountains of trees and mermaid in place of God. If you go to some churches, they make the statues of Peter, of Mary, of Paul, of Christ, of Abraham, etc. and worship these images. This is the height of man's folly. Man goes as far as to the graves to invoke the spirit of the dead in the name of worshipping God. It is pathetic that when the Holy Spirit does his work, people give thanks to another person. While I am thanking God for his works, you are thanking Olumba Olumba Obu as the doer. And when I say the Father in heaven should help me, you say that Olumba Olumba Obu should help you. Who is a fool among us? I am not God. I am not spirit or angel or pastor or bishop or elder. You should glorify God and give thanks to him. Reading through Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 2, you will know that before the creation of the world, the Holy Spirit was in charge of the world. He is with us now. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. That was in Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 to 2. Brethren, the Holy Spirit is the one doing all things in the world. The Holy Spirit is a human being. Is a stone, is water, is fish, is animals, he is everything. We should, we should recognize him as the provider of all things. Brethren, man is like mist. In a short time, he will go naturally, whereas God is unchangeable. God can do anything at any time he can pick one person from a family and endow him with one gift or the other as a result of this people may envy and think of a way of killing the one they will think that by eliminating the person the family will collapse this belief is erroneous Similarly, in a family where there is an outstanding person, he becomes the only hope of such a family. If anything happens to him, the members of the family will panic that the family is in trouble. This is man's folly. Assuming that God decided to transfer the person, he will also bring up a small person from that family to do his will. That is why you should have faith in him. The common mistake made by many people is to glorify themselves. So many people claim to have done one thing or the other. This is wrong. People now worship money and regard it as a god. Others take children as a means of consolation. 
Many pray to God to make them leaders or keep them in very influential positions. But the questions are, do they ever recognize God as being instrumental to all their successes in life? Do they ever thank Him for all His mercies? Do they glorify Him as they should? People blame Pharaoh and Nebuchadnezzar and Herod and other leaders who were stubborn to God. Have they ever stopped to think about their own cases? If God made you a president of a country, you will say that you were nominated and voted in by your people. The government does not know God. The churches do not know God. Communities do not know God. And individuals do not know God. I advise you to sing praise to God, the Holy Spirit, and do not think that Olumba Olumba Obu is the door of what you see in the world today. God has come to govern the whole world. He has not come to govern Nigeria alone. What do you understand by the statement recorded in Second Corinthians chapter 3 verses 13 to 16? that Moses covered his face with a veil, which is still remembered in the Old Covenant, but his veil could only be removed through Christ. And not as Moses which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look at the end of that, which is, abolished but their minds were blinded for until this day remained the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament which veil is done away in Christ but even unto this day when Moses is read the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Brethren, in the flesh, when Moses came, he used stones and candles and other things in his mode of worship. But when our Lord Jesus Christ came, he used the spoken word to accomplish things. This is proof this is proof that it is God that does everything and not a human being. If you continue to read the Old Testament, you will still use candles and drums and stones and other things in your worship just as Moses did. If you continue to read the Old Testament, you will continue to go to Jerusalem to the seashore and you will continue to worship the moon or stars or fire, rain, stone and make sacrifice to these inanimate things. Christ came to reveal the glory of God. You may recall the encounter which Christ had with, this certain, with a certain Samaritan woman. She told Christ that her fathers used to worship on the mountain, but Christ replied, to her saying, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain nor at Jerusalem worship the Father, ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews, but the hour cometh, and is now is, when the true worshipper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. That was in John chapter 4 verses 21 to 23. Brethren, in conformity with the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, we in brotherhood of the cross and star know what we worship. We are also worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth. If you want to worship him, do so in spirit and in truth. And anywhere you are, the Father is with you. Do not be afraid of anything. 
when our Lord Jesus Christ was raising people from the dead and healing the other infirmities, people of the world attributed these successes to Christ. Why Christ bore testimony that all his powers are from the Father, people erroneously say that they are looking forward to the time when Olumba Olumba Obu will die and brought out of the cross and star collapse. That is why they do not get baptized into brother of the cross and star. They erroneously believe that if Olumba Olumba Obu dies, there will be no more power in brotherhood again. Also, people deceive others by claiming that brotherhood of the cross and star worships a human being while they worship the true God. In other words, they assert that the work done in brotherhood of the cross and star is done by Olumba Olumba Obu. They, however, do not know that the Holy Spirit does the works here. I do not therefore want any glory or honor for anything sake, because I am not the doer of these works. Someone from former Bendel State claimed he was God. As a result of this, the security agents picked him and locked him up for six months. This proves that nobody is God. So do not call anybody God. God is God forever. Jesus Christ told the world that he was the Son and not the Father. And he gave glory to the Father, to his Father for everything. Do not allow anybody to deceive you that he is God. Anybody who carries himself up will be brought down. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, 1 first Corinthians chapter 13, verse 28. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Brethren, God is a jealous God, so do not combine his worship with another thing. If you read Isaiah chapter 2, you will not continue with your unwholesome behavior. You will know that God is the only cock to crow. You are the source of your problems because when you decide to worship idols and make sacrifices to them, you become a juju priest, source of income for food. They feed on you. The Holy Spirit makes us know that God sent Moses, Abraham, John and Christ to come and testify about the Father. But everyone is professing Jesus now. The people of the world only pay lip service to our Lord Jesus Christ because no one really accepts his teachings. Even those who claim to know God are only doing so in their mouth and not in their hearts. On the surface, they profess God, but inwardly, they are filthy. That is why Christ said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that dwell the will of my Father which is in heaven, that was in Matthew chapter 7 verse 21. Brethren, do not be stumbling blocks to people any longer. By telling people that Olumba Olumba Obu is God is enough stumbling block to them. I have never told you that I am God. It is written in Psalms chapter 82 verse 6 that ye are gods, trees, Animals, fishes, rain, man, 
water, and virtually everything is good. You can compare a huge tree with foliage, leaves, and branches, which provide shade. The leaves are part of the tree. The branches are of the tree. The roots are of the tree, and the trunk is that tree. In Revelation chapter 22, verses 2 to 3, the tree mentioned signifies God. It says, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. Brethren, everything comes from God, he is God of everyone. As such, his powers are not confined to a particular place or person. Allow everyone to his conscience because it is recorded that a neighbor would not teach a neighbor to know God. Again, we have been taught a very important thing and that is we should not call anybody teacher because God alone is the teacher and all of us are brethren. This means everyone in brotherhood. The Holy Spirit is the leader and he is the teacher. You are not a teacher. We are all brotherhood. We should be submissive to God because he is the one that provides our needs. We should praise God and give thanks to Him because He has forgiven all our sins. Do not attribute any accomplishment to yourself. Do not claim to have composed songs because this is done by the Holy Spirit. If you compose songs, who are you composing your songs for? We should give glory to God for His wisdom, His love, His mercy, and patience among other things. If God is the Lord, then we are all lords. This is because the child of a king is a king. The wife of a lord is also a lord. A lady. Read the second lesson again. Second lesson, first Peter chapter four, verse eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Brethren, what is recorded in that biblical excerpt is not a vision and it is not said by me. Let us use our resources to praise God. Always have in mind that all that you have are from God. Do not claim to be very benevolent that you founded a better or a church. Because God does everything. Everything you say is from God. And God does whatever you do. Man is God's representative. If you give someone a vision. And you, change, and you charge money for your service. You, do you charge money because the vision is from you? You charge money for preaching. Does your action show that God does not have money or because you are the owner of the world? What do you have which is not given you free by God? Learn from what happened to all the stubborn leaders of old, especially Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar and Herod. 
There is no king in the world that is greater than these kings. God is powerful enough to cause the extinction of this world and bring a new one in existence. Can you beat that? Herod slaughtered James, John's brother, and incarcerated Peter. God used only one angel to strike him down. This was a great lesson to learn from. You call yourself the president of a country, but you cannot care for the welfare of your subjects and you do not want to give another person a chance. You feel that you have money, but refuse to know that it is God who gives you the money. God controls life and death. He does whatever he likes with anything and anybody. You should be contented with where he keeps you. Whatever happens in this kingdom has been revealed to King Nebuchadnezzar that a kingdom of God will emerge which would encompass all other existing kingdoms. Can a man prevent this from happening? God also revealed this kingdom to John the Divine as recorded in Revelation chapter 11 verse 15 that and the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Brethren, when this statement was recorded, you and I were not yet born. Your duty and mine is to praise God and give him his due glory. He is worthy of our praises because he is the creator of both visible and invisible things. All the angels and everything give glory to God. I worship God and wish that you do the same. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Philippians chapter 2 verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Brethren, God uplifts his name so that those who believe in him should have salvation. In other words, God solves our problems so that he should be glorified. God is the master planner. The three O's. O -O -O, which solves people's problem is applied by God so that his name may be praised and glorified. But I want to clarify the fact that I have never directed any member to knock his head or her head on the ground for me. And I have never told anybody that I am God. I am your brother. So I would not want you to glorify me instead of God. The headquarters of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is neither located at 34 Amber Street, Calabar, nor at Biakpan. You are the headquarters of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Every member is the headquarters of this kingdom. I do not want anybody to adulterate the golden teaching given to you everyone should strive to practice the teaching there is nothing on earth which is greater than what we are doing daily in the fold which is giving glory to god to testify about the works of god and sing glory to his name are very important assignments on earth give glory to god for the food you eat glory him for your poor health your good health your shelter and in fact any situation which you may find yourself whether good or bad do not attribute your success or otherwise to man to mermaid or 
anything whatsoever. Anyone who loves God would love everybody and everything. And anybody who glorifies God will also glorify all his creation. Brethren, one stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let he who has ears to hear, hear what the Holy Spirit has, depart, has imparted to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.